So who will support Israel in its push to extend its borders into Area C of the West Bank or Judea and Samaria, especially now with the United States wavering and Israeli Mossad chief Yossi Cohen landing in Jordan? Joining us in the studio to answer is founder and executive director of the Israel Institute for Strategic Studies, Dr. Martin Sherman. Dr. Sherman, it's a pleasure to have you back. Thank you so much for being here. Now, Thank you for the invitation. Well, so, so I want to start with Jordan. You know, Jordanian King Abdullah II has previously said that he does not support the annexation plans, even though there are some reports saying that so, uh, different things are coming out behind closed doors in Jordan. Uh, what can be achieved by this meeting? Well, you know, I probably think that the best thing that could happen to the current regime in Israel is for in, in Jordan is for Israel to annex the the Jordan Valley because that would put a buffer zone between the the, the, the Jordan uh, across the Jordan and uh, any potential Palestinian state that might be maybe established in areas that Israel doesn't annex, because I think a Palestinian state would be a force for irredentist uh, elements in Jordan to rebel against the king. So I think uh, the, the, the king actually has an interest in Israel uh, annexing that territory and making sure that it doesn't become do you think a, a, a hostile entity on his on his border. Do you think that he'll say anything to that effect? No, I don't publicly? think. I don't think he'll say anything. So publicly. I mean, really, nothing will change then in terms of Jordan's perspective. No, no but, I think, but I think in many ways Israel has been far too reticent in pushing this uh, annexation uh, uh, forward. Uh, I think they were given an excellent opportunity when the plan was uh, was uh, presented, and I think we've been humming and hawing and asking, and 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 we've been too too reluctant to, to push forward with it, too apprehensive, because, put it this way, there's never going to be any agreement for Israel to annex territory in Judea and Samaria. But Israel has to annex territory in Judea and Samaria to, to preserve its long-term security. And, uh, you know, I don't think the situation is going to get any better. And, you know, and the, the, probably the, the, the most worrying thing is the um, the, the results of the, the, the U.S. election, because we're sure. seeing, at least if you believe the polls, you know, Trump's going to have a very, very hard fight. And uh, I can think of uh, uh, not many scenarios that would be worse for Israel after the election than if a, dem a Democratic Party w so, wins. So speaking of Trump, uh, one of his advisors, one of President Trump's advisors, Kellyanne Conway, is saying that uh, President Trump is going to come out with with a big announcement on the annexations very soon. What do you think he's going to say? Well, I you know it's very difficult to try and prophesize and uh, predict what Trump is going to say. Hmm. But uh, up until now, every surprise that he's brought out has been in favor of Israel. Um, you know, you know, I, what's the alternative paradigm? Two states? Two states have been on the table now for well over a quarter of a century. So, you know, well, you know, I well, think this, people well, the Trump plan does actually uh, make, make a way for well, a Palestinian state. Well, it pays lip so service it's... to a Palestinian state because the kind of conditions that the Trump plan puts on a Palestinian state are something that even the Palestinians want to, wanted to comply with them, they couldn't. You know, let's, right. let's, well, see them, let's see them disarm the we're, Hamas. We're going to have to see exactly what happens. Thank you so much for coming in, Dr. Thank Trump. you.